Come First of all, let me dedicate now. In college, he weighed a whopping 425 pounds. That's like two me's plus one Gary Coleman. In a cell weight and lost 245 pounds. Over the last 10 years, he's made an amazing transformation. Jared, for taking it off, keeping it off, and keeping your shirt on, congrats. Watching you over the years has caused me to eat better today. But ain't shit like no hog mogs, ain't shit like no greens, and ain't shit like no chicken. And a little pussy on the side. Ain't shit like it. Man, but now I'm getting sick of hearing about this shit over and over again. Jay, man, it's time to shut the fuck up. Please. You lying fuck you. You know goddamn well you ain't lost no fucking 245 pounds in 10 years eating refined motherfucking grains. That shit is like diarrhea running out your ass like a water fountain. You can't tell me your big ass ate Subway for 10 years and lost all that damn weight. I know the secret, dog. I know the secret. I know what makes you lose weight if you don't want to work out, motherfucker, and take medicine. It's that crack. Your ass smoking crack. If you eating motherfucking 12-inch uh, 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 on wheat tuna, that motherfucker in itself take two days to come out your ass. So you keep eating them motherfucker, multiply that motherfucker times 10. That's 20 days this motherfucker been backed up with some shit. So don't don't play that, that shit about I lost 245 pounds in 10 years. That's just like R. Kelly being on trial for the last 10 years. Ain't a motherfucker convicted his ass yet. My auntie, this bitch been eating Subway for 32 years. And this bitch is big as Beverly Hills and weigh 90210. So you can't tell me no motherfucking Subway made your ass shrink. I ain't trying to hear it. You on that hydroxy cut. Yeah, I said it, motherfucker. Jared, if you set your big ass down and stop trying to eat all the fucking time, your ass wouldn't be so damn big. You wouldn't have been so big. It wouldn't hurt to miss a meal. You know that, motherfucker. It would not hurt to miss a meal because I didn't miss many of meals in my motherfucking life. I went to school for the motherfucking lunch. I mean, come on, Jay, man. Ten years of the same bullshit. I lost weight from eating fucking Subway sandwiches. I lost weight from eating fucking Subway. Okay, I get it. Shit. Let's move on to the next shit, man. Come on, dog. Shut the fuck up, Jared. Damn, whoever heading this campaign, dog, he got to be black. Because, I mean, y'all riding this shit till the fucking wheels fall off. Okay, campaign guy, since you a brother, I'm going to give you a free one, all right? Okay, let's pretend for one minute that you're trying to be creative, all right? Here's an idea for you. You can have it. It's free. Why don't you get OJ to pull a kick, though, and jack motherfuckers for their Subway sandwiches? Do that one. Pay him a million dollars, and he'll do it, I bet you. Or, if you ain't got the money... Go ahead and tell them that they got a shit inside. I bet you he kicked the fucking dough in. All right? That's a free one. See, that's different. By the way, Jared, congratulations and shut the fuck up. God damn it. Shit, just shut the fuck up. Ten years and 245 pounds later, they're still talking about the same repetitive shit. Is this the only ad campaign this sandwich shop can come up with? Shit. Congrats, Jared. But shut the fuck up. Please. Come on. But you may call me a square. Come on, Mike. Everyone else do. You might. They do. Yeah. They do. Come on. First of all, let me dedicate now, not later. Track right here, dedicated to the makers. Don't sound from the east, don't sound from the west. Like Kai and better yet, come with the best. 